Hey YouTube, it's me Ashley, a girl in her flowers, and welcome back to my channel. It is the 18th day of Vlogmas. Oh my goodness, we're getting so close to the end, and I'm so excited for the end to get here. Because man, making a video every day has been like, if you know what I mean. If you're making a video every day like me. Um, but anyway, so I'm, I'm getting so excited to getting close to the holidays and seeing my kids open their presents. And I have a really bad toothache and it's killing me. So Tylenol has been my friend. But anyway, so the message or the thing I want to rant about today is don't be afraid to share your feelings with others. And I don't mean just like in a positive light. I mean like let people know how you feel. And let me just ex tell you where I've come to this subject. So I have this person in my life. I'm sorry, I spit. You guys couldn't see it but anyway. I have this person in my life who thinks that they can really control my life. So one thing I'm very adamant about is peace in my home. I will never let anything interrupt the peace in my home. And so if I feel that something's going to disturb my home's peace, and the calmness of my home, then I, I won't allow it to be. So if I know that there's like two people in my life who don't like each other, I won't let them be at the house at the same time. Um, or if I know that someone's going through something that's going to cause negative energy to come into my home, then I don't want that person into my home. It's just something that works for me. It may not work for everyone, but I just don't want any negative energy up in here. And so that person didn't appreciate me telling them that they couldn't come to my house at a certain time or a certain day. And they really tried to like lay into me about, I mean, and I quote said I was being like a rabid dog about not wanting them here. But here's the thing. I, first of all, will not be disrespected. But second of all, my rules that I have for my home are my rules for a reason. It is my home. And I am in control of who comes in and out of my door and what I allow in my home. If I let someone bring their negativity and energy into my home and I'm feeling that energy, especially someone like me who lives with anxiety every day and I pick up on everyone's anxieties, the last thing I'm going to do is let someone bring their anxiety into my home. It's just not going to happen. So I shut the door on that real quick and the person didn't like it and they didn't respond accordingly and so I had to let them know how I felt don't bite your tongue pretty much is what the message is for today you don't have to hold your tongue for anyone we were given this gift to speak so speak we were given this ability to have our own opinions. That's why I'm going to tell you right now. Moving out of my mom's house, even though it's been a struggle and there's been times where, that going home has almost been like the only option. I've, I've done everything I can to make sure that I don't have to do that because having your own home, being able to set your own rules, it is such a beautiful feeling. And if you haven't got to experience that yet, I look forward to you being able to experience it so you can know what I mean. When you have your own home, you set your own rules and you are in control of what energy you allow into your home. So back to this person, if someone doesn't agree with some rules that you have set around your life and not just your home, but your life period, then you can let them know how it is and they either can get on the boat or get off. And like I told this person, it's either my way or no way. And you don't have to be in my life because if you're in my life and you uh, love me or care about me, then you will respect any rules I have for myself and my home. Just the same as I will respect any rules that anyone that is in my life has for themselves and their homes and their lifestyle. I mean, that's just what it is. You are your own individual person and you are in control of everything that comes in and out of your doors, whether it's the doors to your heart or the doors, the doors to your home. So, with that being said, if anyone disrespects you or disrespects your rules or don't follow your rules or don't abide by your rules, you need to let them know how it is. Don't let anything slide. Because if you let it slide the first time, when they do it the second and third time and then you really want to speak out, then they're looking at you like, but you let me do it the other time. So don't let them do it the first time. Nip it in the butt right away. <laughs> I'm just here, like I said, to tell you that you don't have to hold your tongue for a soul, okay? You let people know how you feel. 
Don't think about how they're going to take your feelings because if they love you and they care about you, they'll take it with, okay, that's what it is. I respect that and I'll abide by that and let's move on. But if they're going to fight back with you, then you don't want that in your life anyway. You don't need their negative energy. So needless to say, that person is no longer in my life and I feel just as good as I did before I had to cuss them out. Actually, I feel better because now I have less baggage in my back. Because I'm going to tell you, like I told you guys before, like you need to have the gift of goodbye and being able to cut people off. That relates to the energy that you keep around yourself. So if you're able to say goodbye to people and whether it hurts you in the, you know, in that moment where you're like, darn, I really want this person in my life. But once they're gone, you're going to be like, wow, what is all this weight off my shoulder? You didn't even realize how much stress they were bringing into your life to begin with. So if you got to cuss somebody out a couple times, cuss them out. If you want to keep it classy, keep it classy. But do what you got to do to make sure that your home and your heart and your rules are respected by all, any means necessary. Okay? And that is the message for today. I'm being really good at keeping these videos under 10 minutes. And I'm super proud of myself for that. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you have anything that you want to ask me, any advice, anything you want me to rant about, you know, feel free. I try to keep it like politic free and drama free as far as like what's going on in social media. But I think my video for tomorrow is just going to be about our obsession with celebrity status. I think. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, mwah.